Can hit alert. Another one. Ooh. Oh, maybe we can get three. Ooh, we got three going. Oh boy. Now I'm really scared. <laughs> Good filming. Put my flyers out. Yeah, they're breaking out all the weapons today. Oh well, it's just all going to go into my nice little video. Did you see that, Hope? Did you see all that crazy stuff going on? Did you see that? Oh, here goes the white one. Here goes the whitey. <laughs> They're pulling out all the stops, ain't they? Funny how all these things seem to happen on my, as I step outside my house. I must be the most siren ridden person there is. Now I know for a fact these bastards call in bogus calls. Cause I've watched them. I was up in Buffalo. And I was camping out in my truck here, my car, a little SUV, Forerunner, and uh, I decided to cross, to travel across the country, come out here and try and get my healing, get the surgery I need, which didn't didn't help. Uh, my face is still swollen, full of infection. So, uh, I have a doctor out in Utah who may be helping me with all this, but, uh, <clears throat> the only honest doctor I've encountered to this whole 
nightmare. But uh, uh, so I come out here and I, I, I start camping out in my car. You know, I think we're going to cross country, we're just going to save a lot of money. We're going to live for free, live out here on the road, and just use my car. My windows are all tinted, and it was cool. It was it was uh, springtime, and it was it was actually it was quite very comfortable. Actually, I slept better in my car than I did in a house. I, I got more ventilation in my car. It got cooler at night. It helped me sleep better. And uh, so uh, I was uh, I was uh, I was living in my just staying in my my SUV and. Uh, so I was up in Buffalo, went up to Buffalo after I went out here to D.C. and New York and spent about a few weeks up in Buffalo checking out, trying about how do I get out of this freaking country. The Canadian consulate even told me what a corrupt country this was. I couldn't believe it coming from our neighbors, <laughs> our neighboring country. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> And then Hillary Clinton shows up in uh, the same tent in Niagara. <laughs> uh, a few days later, after I had that encounter at the embassy up here in Canada, uh, Buffalo. But anyway, so I was sitting, you know, we were camping out, and um, one night uh, we were camping, and they were harassing me all day, having all their skinhead cops follow me, and they continued. Usually, they leave you, left me alone at night. I guess they have a little, uh, some ethics uh, in their creepy creed. And uh, so usually after I turned in for the evening, they'd leave me alone. You know, around 9 or 10 or 11, whatever time I went to bed. But this time they didn't. And I parked on this street and in front of this house in a nice quiet little neighborhood. And I got cops everywhere. Crisscrossing all across the neighborhood. I could hear their radios. And I'm ducking down in my car. Go, oh my God, they know I'm in my car. These bastards fucking told told them what I'm where I'm at. So I, I thought they were looking for me, and uh, they had me all freaked out because I'm you know you're kind of vulnerable when you're in your car, in your bed sleeping. Uh, and uh, and it just kept circling and circling. I heard the radios. I heard them. I then I started hearing talking to people that are walking down the street. Did you call in a, a, a help call? Did you call in a call for help? Uh, and apparently, they fucking called in a bogus call to the police. Tell some uh, somebody needed help and didn't identify themselves. Just gave the location and had this fucking cops descending all over that that one block. How's that? So right at that point, I knew these guys were, were totally fucking psycho, dirty tricksters, and creepy, crappy people. And we'll do anything. We'll break any law. We'll, we'll use any agency to harass and do their stupid little tricks and their stupid little fucking mind games. And that comes out of nothing but the CIA. And, you know, so the fact that they're using our, our good law, law enforcement and fire personnel to, to, to go on bogus calls that they call in just so that they can get sirens and cops out there all over the place to scare you and harass you into thinking they're coming after you. This is how they work. That's why I'm alerting the cops, because they need to know they're being played for fools and chumps. And they're, uh... <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this just so happens to be right after I have this encounter at Walmart with this freaky skinhead. And uh, I filmed him. It's in the can. He had to know I was filming him, too. But he didn't really uh, reveal who he was until... Uh, until I can 
confronted him. And he showed me his World Trade Center tattoo. What a patriot he was, boy. Oh my God. It sends chills up and down my spine to think of it. How patriotic can you be to have a World Trade Center tattoo put on your arm? Oh my God. Oh.